Hey everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you three different styles of friendship bracelets all using one knot style. So for the tornado, which is the most simple, you are going to need to cut your chosen colors of string. I would suggest at least three different colors and they each should be 34 to 36 inches, about three feet of string. If you make a mess of your embroidery floss like I did and you want to keep it neat, you can wrap it around a piece of cardboard with a little slit cut in it to hold the ends. Once you have all of your colors chosen and cut to length, then we're going to take the folded end and make a little slip knot. This is just going to hold them all together and allow us to tape them to a surface securely. And then we're going to make our knot. So taking whatever color you choose first, you're going to make a number four around the whole group and then tie that knot as many times as you want. I chose to do seven knots and then switch colors after that. When it's time to change color, just put that first color down with the rest and take your next one and do the same thing. We're going to make a four loop around and then tighten up that knot at the top. And then we're just going to continue on until you reach the length that your bracelet needs to be to go around your wrist. For the candy stripe, we're going to start the same way, about three foot long pieces of string tied in half with a slip knot and then taped down to our table. If you wanted to use a safety pin and attach it to uh, something like that, that would work too. For the candy stripe, we are going to arrange all of our strings fanned out in the order that we want the stripes to go. And this can be any order. You can go one after another. Doesn't matter. And then we're going to do the same sort of four knot, but just around one string at a time and twice on each one. So that's blue around purple two times, twice around pink, twice around the first yellow, and so on, all the way down the line. And as you can see, the blue string that we started with is now on the right side, even though it started on the left. And then we're gonna take what is now the farthest left string, which is purple, and it's gonna do the same thing where it goes around each of the strings in order down the line, pink first, and then the two yellows and so on all across. You can already see how it's starting to make stripes and sort of at a diagonal angle, which is a really nice look. Putting two knots on each string really helps the bracelet to lay flat. If you just do one knot on each string, it wants to twist up into like a spiral. So I definitely suggest doing two knots on each string as you go across. Do your best to keep everything neat and keep your strings from getting tangled up, but you usually can work out any tangles that get in there as you go. And there is a candy stripe. The chevron starts out the same way. I've already cut my strands and taped them down. Um, for this one, you have to arrange your colors in pairs um, opposite ways. So on the far outside, I have two maroons and then two mint greens, two dark greens, and two white in the middle. And we're gonna go halfway across. So the maroon on the left is going across the light green, the dark green, and the white. And it's gonna hang out in the middle and wait for the other maroon to meet it there. So our maroon string on the right side is going to go opposite. So it's a backwards four or just tie a knot around from the right side going left across the mint green, the darker green, and then the white. And then those two maroon ones are going to be hanging out together in the center. And then it doesn't really make a difference if you go left over right or right over left but they are going to tie to each other in the center there. We're going to do the same thing with the mint green, going from the left to the middle, and then the right to the middle, and then attaching to the other light green in there. 
and then dark green is going to do the same thing. You can already see it's starting to form the chevron shape, the arrow pointing down as it goes. This one's a little more complicated because you have to do the backwards knots, but once you get the hang of it, it goes about as quickly as the candy stripe. And just like the candy stripe, I suggest doing two knots on each strand. Of course, the more strings you use, the wider your bracelet's gonna be. Um, the fewer strings you use, the narrower it will be. I think that this group of four colors, eight strands works out pretty well. It's a good size. Well, I hope you'll give this summary project a try, and I hope to see lots of friendship bracelets posted in the pictures. Thanks!